What up, fam? Happy Sunday morning. It's your boy, G. Rich. Yes, sir. It's going down today. As you well know, I'm grilling a brisket this morning. Yes, sir. The brisket on been brining all night, so it's time to get ready to put it on the grill. It's almost 8 a.m., so I'm going to get ready to go season it so it can be done between 6 and 7 o'clock tonight, right before dinner time and right before San Francisco and the Rams play tonight. Yes, sir. Come on, San Francisco. It only takes one game to turn our season around. Let's see if we can do it. Yes, sir. I believe in you. Okay, so let's get ready to get this thing seasoned and get ready to put it on the grill. And let's, when you work hard, you play hard. That's right. You work hard. Yes, sir. Now you can then after you get through when, when it's finished, you play hard. That means you eat it and enjoy it. Put it in, put it by putting in the work. Yes, sir. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to show you what kind of season. Okay, fam, here we go. Now, here's what you're going to need. French's yellow mustard. Yes, sir. Black, uh, ground black pepper. A little cayenne pepper. Last but not least, some Weber dry rub. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's, that, that, that's good stuff. Okay, first thing we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and put the dry rub on there. Now, you need one half a cup of dry rub. So, I'm going to split it up on both sides, okay? Okay. I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay. One tablespoon of cayenne pepper on each side. Okay, then you got one fourth of a cup of black pepper, half of it on this side. All you're gonna do is rub it in. Okay, let's say that. And then you got two one fourths of a cup of French's mustard. So you got a half a cup of French's mustard total. See that? Go ahead, massaging this good on this side. Get that rub right here on the sides. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm doing? I'm working in the grooves, working the season in the grooves. Okay, now we got to do the other side. Okay, let's get ready to do the other side. We're going to go first with the, the Weber dry rub with the rest of it. Okay. The rest of the black pepper. The rest of the cayenne pepper. Much of that, and the French's yellow mustard. And let your fingers do the rest. Mm -hmm. You know, this sucker gonna be good and juicy, fam. Man, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Mama, there goes that man. Now we're getting ready to um take it outside and put it on the grill. Remember, I told you we're gonna put it on the grill um directly on the heat for 20 minutes on each side first. So I'm gonna put it on one side for 20 minutes and then the next side for 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna take it off and put it on a pan or a rack. Yes, sir. And cook it the rest of the way like that. You don't want it on a direct heat because all you're going to do is burn the outside. Hold on tight. I'll be right back. Look at that, fam. Look how that's coming. It's ready to go. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Now listen, periodically, for you know, over the next 10, 11 hours, you're gonna have to add like a couple a couple more coals here and there. You can put them you put a few here and a few there because you know those coals are not gonna last the entire, you know, eleven hours. You know, some might make it some won't, but you'll see different coals in there. If you see some black, I added some periodically, okay? That way to keep the heat and the fire going. All right, hold on a second. Here we go with the meat. Woo wee, man, look at that. Yeah. So we're gonna cook it on that side for 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna flip it over and cook it on the other side for 20 minutes, okay? And then we're gonna move it onto a pan. So we, want, we don't wanna burn it. Hey fam, I done flipped it on the other side. And now while, while it's cooking on the other side for like 20 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some onions in this pan, this uh, foil pan. I put some grapeseed oil in the bottom of it. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and cut some onions. Spread it around. Lay it on a bed of onion. Yeah. Sloppy and effective. All right, see y'all outside. All right, fam. It should be ready to go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Is that bed of onions. All right, it's time to get strong now. There we go. Bam. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm impressed with that. Look at that. Ooh, we I gotta take a picture of that man. Mama, there goes that man. Let's get started, fam. First of all, let's put this fire out. Okay. All right, we'll see you later. We're gonna check it periodically. Keep that fire going. It's a long process, fam. Hold on tight. I'll be right. All right, fam. Let's check it. We're an hour and a half in. I just wanted to come show you how it's doing. Look at that. Look at the juice that's going down in it. Yes, sir. Oh, my word. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that, fam. Ooh. <laughs> See, it's basting just like I want it. Mm-hmm. Evening all the way around. Mm-hmm. We'll check it in. We'll check it again in a few hours. I swear, well, I feel like I'm the only one out here, fam. It's so quiet out here in the neighborhood. <laughs> I tell you, boy, I had to get up early, fam, just so this could be done by dinner. Okay, fam, let's check on it. Ooh, wee. You see that? Hold on, let me see if y'all can hear that noise. You hear that? Look at that sizzling. See, it's not burning up, it's just searing. Ooh, my goodness. Yeah, fam. Look at that. See, that's when you see how it's sweating like that on top, it's cooking on the inside. Yes, sir. Ooh, we're about two and a half hours in, fam. Long process. 
look at that. Hold on tight. I'll be right back. Okay, fam, you know I had to do it. Yes, sir. This big old pot here, man. It's the new name for this pot. This one here called, since all these women name in here, Betty and uh, uh, Bertha and Bernice. This right here, this called Big Buford. That's mine. Yes, sir. That's Big Buford. <laughs> this is going with the, this is what's going with the, with the brisket today. Also, we're going to have these, some lima beans, great northern beans mixed together with some fat back in it. Yes, sir. It's going in. <laughs> it's going down, fam. Uh, NFL Sunday. Cornbread also. Probably a little rice and some uh, mac and cheese. Yes, sir. All right. Stand by. Uh, fam, I'm halfway through. As you can see... I had to put some more coals on top of the ones that's already in there. See what I'm saying? That I'm halfway through. And this should take me the rest of the way. Look at that. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, we'll be back. Okay, fam. It's about 1.30. Ooh, wee. Look at it. Now, you see the moisture in that meat? Let me bring you a little closer. Look at the moisture. Yes, sir. See, that's what you're looking for. We're almost there. We got a few hours to go, but that's all right. I'm like, I'm loving this process because it's cooking. I got the grill cooking exactly how I want it to cook. It's around 250 degrees, and it's just. Oh man, fam, I'm telling you, it's just, it's just, it's just like it just simmering and cooking and grilling and smoking at the same time. Yes, sir. All right, fam, it's time to check it. Look at that. Now, what I've been doing, fam, I've been taking the juice, the onion flavored juice that was at the bottom. Remember that? Onions on marinated and dried up on that thing. Look at that. That's its own juice off the beef. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man, it's going down, it's going down. Alright, fam. It is 530. Look at that, look at that. Excuse the noise, the plane flying by, fam. But it is 5.30 in the afternoon. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. So we got about a good another one more hour. So what I'm going to do now, boy, it's been a long one. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take some sweet baby rays, sweet and spicy, and put it on the top. And then I'm going to let it sit for another hour. And it should be all done and ready to go. Sprinkle some on the top right here. I'm going to take my brush, spread it all around. Wow. Man, I tell you, it's been a long process, a long day, but that's all right. It's well worth it. Oh, yeah. Look at this. It finally feels good down here in Jacksonville. The weather feels so good, fam. Get on this side so you can see. Ooh -wee. The grill, the grill just simmering and just, oh my goodness. We'll be back with the finished look, fam. Here, okay, fam. Here's my brisket. Yes, sir. It's about six, but a little after six right now. This this brisket is done. As you can see, look how look how the the sweet baby rays done caramelized onto that. Oh my goodness! I can't wait to get in, fam. But I'm gonna cut y'all a piece first, man. Yes, sir. You remember 
Now you, you the uh, oh man, yes. Oh man. <laughs> Is your peace, fam? Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. Listen, man. Look, man. You remember now the, the middle of your beat got to be at least like between 190 and 200 degrees on the inside. So before you take it off the grill, that's what it needs to be shown. Yes, sir, man. I am impressed with this. I appreciate y'all, man. Yes, sir. Look, man. Hey. If you like this recipe, look down in the description area. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that subscription button, and hit that notification bell so you can see all the new uh, videos that's coming up, man. I appreciate y'all, all my old subscribers, new subscribers. We crossed 90,000, fam. Yes, sir. Let's, let's see, can we get to 100,000? Yes, sir. So we had this big giveaway. Hey, man, I love y'all to life. G, reach out in your mind.